Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Andy Bull. Back in the crib, back in the shoe room, uh, bring you all another video. Um, it's going to be a sneaker rotation video. I used to do these a couple years ago. Um, I just kind of fell off with these, but it's a good way for me to showcase my collection and whatnot. Um, so I'm going to start doing doing these again, show you all, like, you know, what shoes they wear throughout the week, um, sneakers and whatnot, when I'm not wearing dress shoes at work, obviously, because um, obviously, you know, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't wear Jordans to uh, do what I do at work, so I got to dress up for that, unfortunately, but uh, it's all good. Um, so, you know, gym shoes or if I pop out to a friend's house, grocery store, restaurant, whatever, um, this is kind of what I've been wearing all week. Uh, no particular order. Um, probably just kind of go by which uh, which ones I pull up first and uh, whatnot. So let's jump into it. Um, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel. Goes a long way. Drop a like on the video. It helps get it out. You know, during using the YouTube algorithm and all that. Um, let me know your comments and opinions down below if you have some of these shoes in your collection. Um, if you want some of these shoes, you're eyeing up some of them, uh, thinking about getting them, whatever, you know, because prices on Jordans are way low right now, um, which is kind of nice. So shoes are more easily obtainable. I know uh, the world's getting very expensive and everything, but um, the shoe market right now is very, very down, which is a good thing for sneakerheads like you and I. So... Um, with further ado, let's get into it. Um, first shoe, uh, Fire Red Jordan 5. Um, wore these to the gym. I believe it was on Sunday or Monday. I don't remember which day it was. Um, I do a lot of like lifting at the gym uh, for like you know bodybuilding and whatnot. Um, so uh, Jordan 5s are really good for that because you have a nice base, a uh, nice solid base with a lot of ankle support. Um, so Jordan 5 Fire Red. These dropped, um, I believe it was 2021, um, 20 or 21 when the last dance came out, um, back when everyone was stuck at home watching Netflix. So these are fire. I love this shoe. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. Uh, a little close up for y'all. So yeah, not super duper quality on these, but better than the most uh, recent pair of these before this pair which was, I think, like 2013, 14. Um, these are a little bit better. You got softer leather. You know, it's it's like the shiny leather, so it's not the greatest, but these have held up pretty well. I've worn them a lot, as you can see. Um, starting to get a little yellowing going on, on on both pods here. So that's all good, though. So Jordan 5 Fire Red. That's the first shoe in the sneaker rotation. So we're going to put those to the side. Second pair, actually, were these today um, to the barbershop. So... This is, I believe these are like the Stealth Jordan ones. Um, very slept on shoe. Um, this is just like a, a popping out of the house type of shoe for me. Um, nothing too crazy. Looks, looks good with shorts. Um, as you can see, I've worn them a little bit. Uh, very similar leather to those Fire Reds I just showed y'all. Uh, so Jordan 1 Stealth. Uh, you do have some good tumbled leather on the toe box. Um, I like the, I love the gray laces on these. Um, so real real dope shoe as you can see very easy to wear white and gray I mean <laughs> it's not hard to put an outfit together for these so um, yeah real real simple shoe uh, nice for popping out so Jordan 1 stealth warm to the barbershop had to get the, the hair sprayed off of them you feel me um, as you can see we got the fresh cut you know so Wednesdays are for haircuts so next shoe I'm gonna show y'all um, pine green Jordan ones. Uh, these came out, I believe 2018, 17 or 18. This is one of my favorite Jordan ones of all time. Um, if y'all know me, my favorite color is green. Um, this is very similar to like a Kelly green. Uh, I am an Eagles fan. I don't know if you can see right up there. I have an Eagles pennant and Kelly green. So, um, this kind of goes along with that color. Um, it's just a really nice green color. And then you have really good quality leather. These are like along the same lines of the shattered backboard material. Um, these dropped alongside the court purples. I have the 2.0s, just not the OG court purple. Um, but I prefer the pine greens over the court purples. Even though that shoe, I never got it. Uh, it's kind of like one of those ones that got away or ones I never got to get. Whatever. I just preferred to have these and I got these for retail back in the day. Um, these are really fire. So, and these will be in my collection for a very long time, as long as they hold up. And I try to take the best care of these that I can. You'll see um, bottoms are a little, little gross, but 
up here, good quality. Um, they're very clean. It's starting to get that, uh, like the, the speckle, speckling stuff. Excuse me. I don't know if the camera's picking that up The on the leather, the black part. Uh, a lot of Jordan 1s, as they age, they get this, like, stupid speckled stuff on there. Whatever. So, pine green Jordan 1s. That's the uh, third shoe. Next, we'll go to... Y'all are going to be like, man, all you wear is 1s, but I'm going to switch it up. Um, Citrus 7s. I wore these... Um, man, what did I do the other day when I wore... Oh, I wore these to work. I was getting my car worked on. Um, so, I was sitting in the service lobby... Um, and I wore my Citrus Sevens. This is my favorite pair of Sevens of all time, next to the Bordeaux's. Um, these are just so tough. Very slept on. When they re-released, uh, what was it, a year or two ago? I think it was two years ago. Um, they sat, and everyone was like, man, those are going to sell out. Those are going to sell out. They just never did. Um, such a cool colorway. Uh, these hadn't dropped in, like, what, 10, 15 years previous to this pair. So maybe even longer, maybe, like, 20 years. Because um, I know Jordan Brand is starting to bring back, like, a lot of those, like, early 2000s pairs, um, stuff like that. And they hit a home run with this shoe. Um, I just absolutely love these. They're such a good warm weather shoe, um, whatnot, where shorts, pants, whatever you're trying to do, they, they always work. The bottom's really cool. I always love the seven bottoms with the little hits of color. Um, this has a flat tongue, a flat colored tongue, whereas the other sevens, a lot of different colorways, they have like that no tongue is the same type of deal with the pattern. So, but these are cool nonetheless. This is my favorite pair of Jordan sevens next to the Bordeaux's. So Jordan seven citrus, boom. All right, and the last pair, of the sneaker rotation for the week so far Jordan 1 Volt I love working out in this shoe I don't know why um, and I've seen other people at the gym in these too actually but um, I, I don't know I mean they're not like a super hyped up shoe so I don't worry about like oh man if I beat them up they're not going to be worth anything I'm not a reseller but like you know I have to flip shoes from time to time to get other shoes um, that's any sneaker head y'all know what I'm talking about but um no these are these are fire they're good gym shoes good overall walking around shoes they have good quality um i like the color combination here um a little combination and uh you know these are these are tough um i forget i think these came out in like 20 21 or two um these sat these did not go at all um for any type of resale um, it's got like that off-white inspired tongue with the foam going on. Uh, makes them really comfortable because the tongue is really soft. Um, you have softer materials all over the shoe. I like that it has like the deconstructed look right here, uh, which is pretty cool in my opinion. And then like the laces tuck underneath that. So these are just fire. This part right here comes off. Um, you can have it laced like I do or you can just have it chilling. Um, you know... All around good shoe, Jordan 1 Volt. Um, oh, it also has the tongue tag is backwards, so it'll say Nike Air on the inside, and then the outside part of it is what would be on the inside, which is really cool in my opinion. So if we look at like the Jordan 1 Pine Green, you'll see the Nike Air is on the outside. And then if we flip that out, all the stuff on the outside of the Volt is on the inside of the Pine Green. So. It's hard to see because it's like a see-through type of deal, but kind of cool. Um, they did something different on these. I always like when Jordan Brand differs from the normal stuff. Um, gives it some, some complexity, um, something different, you know. So Jordan 1 Volt, that was the last pair that I've worn this week. Um, besides my slides, I'm not going to show you all those. I wear sample industry slides. Shout out Bullet RC and Tony D, two of my biggest uh, YouTube inspirations besides Mike Rich. Um, so shout out him as well. But um, yeah, so that's the sneaker rotation for the week. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I will be doing more of these. Um, I might include like some on foot stuff in, in future uh, sneaker rotation videos. Um, with that being said, I appreciate y'all watching. And uh, again, if you enjoy the content, please like the, uh, the video. Subscribe to the channel if you don't mind. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Um, and let me know your comments, thoughts, and opinions down below. If you have some of these shoes, um, if you are looking to get some of these shoes, etc., 
um, let me know. I, I like chopping it up with y'all. And uh, it's it's good engagement, you know. It doesn't cost anything. That's what I love about YouTube um, and whatnot. So I'm going to see you on the next video. Appreciate y'all for watching. And, uh, yeah, boy, fresh, you know what I mean? So I'm going to catch you in the next video. Peace.